Welcome back everybody. So this morning I already flew the drone up and I checked my dirt holes and I had one of those traps that was sprung. Uh, I haven't been up there to check uh, to try to see what was going on with that but it was sprung and it was pulled out of my bed where I had set the trap but I'm over here checking these beaver traps and uh, we nailed a beaver right here. It was kind of like a caster mound set I had right where they've been coming up in and out and uh, I just blocked everything off and was able to nail that beaver. It looks like a two-year-old beaver. And uh, I set this trail camera up right over the right over the edge here where they've been coming up in and out. So I'm hoping I might have I might have caught that on video. We'll see. But uh, I did catch a beaver here yesterday. I didn't get home from work till it was after dark already, and I came down here to check in the dark, and I did pull a beaver out of the same set. So. I might have doubled, I might have got one two days in a row out of this one and I actually just chopped that beaver up which is why I got blood on my face when I was hitting it with the axe. I'm uh, making little uh, beaver meat chunks for my coyote and fox sets and uh, I splashed some blood all over me. But we're going to go ahead and take this one out of the trap, get it reset and uh, I'm excited to see if these trail cameras picked any of the catches up. We'll see. I don't know if it'll work or not, but if it did, you'll see it next. So I took a look at the video uh, off these cameras that I had, and I didn't get I didn't get the actual catch on video. Uh, I had them right before, and then the next video there's a bunch of other beavers, and then there's a beaver in the trap already, and then the card filled up before the next night in which I caught the next beaver. So I didn't get the catch, but boy, there's a lot of beavers in here. I couldn't believe watching that video, and on this set over here. I had the buggers come right up to this run, right up to the trap, and uh, they just turned around and left, almost like they were trap shy. So what I did, uh, there's a big run where they've been coming up and chewing on all these sticks over here. So what I did is I stuck a fresh chewing right uh, in the front of the run, and then I put the trap right there that they came, they swam up to a few times, and I think uh, they'll swim up there and they'll see that fresh... Uh, chewing on the other side and they're actually they'll actually uh maybe go through the trap this time and get whacked trying to go up this run to go get some more so these beaver are watching that trail camera footage gives me a little more respect for the beaver i think uh i think they might be onto stuff more than i was thinking they are but I have a feeling getting that uh, fresh chewing stick right there might be the end of them if they swim up there again tonight, so we'll see. I refreshed all those cameras, or I got all the footage off those cards, so we should be in business now. We got the second beaver out of here, but there's certainly a lot more. I think that's a, another two-year-old beaver right there. So two two-year-olds. This one's got a notch out of its tail right there probably a snapper got a little bite to eat we'll uh, go check that dirt hole and see what's going on with that I just found a massive bank den over there look at the size of that thing that's a 100% catch with a 330 in that hole right there there's a giant feed uh, bed right here. 
where the beavers, there used to be a dead deadfall that went across here. And uh, as the crick came, it got a bunch of sticks and twigs got stuck in it. So the beavers made their feed pile right here. And it's a massive feed pile. And there, there's two beaver houses. There's one right here, and then there's one right around that corner. And uh, those bank dens are what I was looking for to set. And uh, there is a massive bank den right there. Hard bottom. They're definitely using it hard. But... I need to go back up and come around the other side to get over to it. I don't dare walk across that feed bed. There's a lot of holes in that that I'd probably end up wet. But we got a big beaver to carry out of here. Well, here's the trap that I had sprung on me last night. And uh, I really can't tell much from just looking at this. Could have been a deer. The deer have been hammering this out here pretty hard. This is Brian's new seeding field and could have been a deer that accidentally stepped on it or I really don't know. But we'll get it reset. Here goes Denton doing something. But we'll go ahead and get this reset and maybe get one fired up for tonight. Okay, we got it reset and I put a little more bait on that bone right there, so it's back ready to rock and roll. Hopefully uh, that coyote comes running down this uh, field divide again tonight and we'll get a whack at him possibly. We'll see. Okay, it's the next morning everybody and uh, I'll send you up in the drone first thing here and we'll check our uh, dirt hole sets and I'm down here on the creek and we got fur in the beaver trap so after we're done checking the traps with the drone uh, you'll come back here and I'll show you what sets we caught beavers in. You can see uh, that one set definitely looked like it got worked by a fox last night. It looked like it worked it from the back side uh, and not the front side where the trap was, but there's fox tracks all around it, so I don't know what 
just didn't step in the trap or I don't know what the deal is. We're going to go up and check that out here in a second. But first, I'll show you what we got on the beavers here. We got a tiny little beaver right here. I don't know if you can see it very good. We have this little pinch where this big patch of brush uh, bunches up in the corner of the creek right here. And I set a 330 right there and we got the trail camera on so it'd be interesting to see if we got that catch. We'll find out. And then if we come over here, I don't know if you guys remember that set uh, yesterday that after watching the trail camera footage the beavers were coming up and they weren't committing they were they would uh, kind of see where the trap was and then swim away so I took that big stick and I stuck that stick that freshly beaver chewed stick right in front of the trap to try to get them to commit to come through there it worked I'll show you what we got we got we got a beaver on it not a very big one but my theory worked they've been coming up in and out of this run right here up onto the bank to chew on stuff actually you can see that there was more beavers up here last night after I had caught the one that I caught so we're gonna go ahead and get that beaver out and get that trap reset pretty darn cool I do want to mention too that some of this trapping I'm doing is in Pennsylvania so uh, the trigger restrictions that you have in New York you don't have in Pennsylvania so that's why you'll see uh, the two prongs on some of these 330s they're not uh, they're totally legal in Pennsylvania not legal in New York and uh, where I'm at is right on the line so you know I have some traps in both places I knew I'd have some uh, people on the videos yelling about my triggers you know not being legal for New York well not New York. I am in some of this, but that's the deal. Let's go ahead and I'm excited to check these trail cameras again because uh, I've been trying to catch, get the actual video of one of these catches on video, if that made any sense. But hopefully this time we got it and I'm gonna show you right now all the footage from these trail cameras from, from last night. We made it to this set that's right off the edge of the fence line where the path goes through here. and uh, You can see there's a deer that walked up through here right here. And then right over here, there's fox tracks. And they come right over here. And it really carried on all over the place. My uh, trap is right there, and it seemed seemingly stepped everywhere other than in my trap by the looks of it. That's a pretty big track right there, really. There's actually quite a bit of room in between those tracks. I don't think that could have been a coyote. Let's go over here where the track is more. It does have more of a 
V to the... I wonder if there's a coyote and a fox at this set last night. That very well might be a coyote. Some of these tracks look too big to be a fox. I wonder if we can catch his track all alone over here somewhere. It'd be easier to judge. Those are deer tracks right there. Okay, this is where he came through. What do you guys think? Is that a fox or a coyote? I can't really tell. If it's a coyote, it's a small one. What I can tell is that this is getting frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rebate this and make sure my set is good and steady and uh, try to fix it up a little bit. They're, they're, it's disheartening when they work a set like that and you don't, you don't snag one. We'll try to make it better. Okay, so we got our spiced up here. I got the trap uh, re-bedded and it was pretty frozen. Uh, I think it still would have went off if he would have stepped right on that pan. He did step on the edge a few times, but he never centered it. And uh, I think if he would have, the trap would have fired and got him. But anyways, uh, we got it. We got a fresh set now, and we rebaited. So uh, hopefully that works out. I don't really know what it was doing over here. You see where it was pawing a lot at the grass and stuff. I don't know. There shouldn't be any any scent or bait i mean all my everything's focused right here this isn't a set that i've caught anything at either so i don't know what it was doing over there it's kind of almost looks like it was like playing around you know hopping around and carrying on i don't know what it was doing but we're uh back in action i want to check this camera and see if this captured anything for some reason it hasn't been i don't know if it, i don't know if it's been working right or not but there's no question we had critters in front of it, so if it don't have anything on it, this camera is not doing too hot. So we'll go ahead and check it out and see what we got. Well, I'm gonna give you guys a little spoiler alert. It was a coyote, and it worked the shit out of this set. This is so frustrating. I mean, it stepped everywhere other than right on the pan of my trap. I'm gonna really analyze this video and watch it close and try to see what I can do different. I think watching that video and watching that coyote work this set, I think his feet are farther out than where I'm setting the trap. I'm setting my trap about six inches from where my dirt hole and bait is. I think it needs to be like eight inches. I think it's too close. You know, I have my, my dirt holes right under that pile. My trap, my pan is right there. And that's about six inches. I think I need to be back a little bit, but. Oh, dang it, that's frustrating. Five o'clock this morning, that coyote worked the crap out of that set. That's the second time I've had coyotes work these sets and haven't pinned them. So frustrating. I'll uh, stop talking and show you the video that the trail camera got.
Okay, everybody, so I'm going to be honest with you. Last night, I wasn't even going to mention this at all on this video just because I wanted to forget it ever happened. I called in a fox last night right outside the house, and my 6.5 is sighted in for 450 yards where them coyotes have been running that fence line. So I dialed it right in for that yardage so I can hold center mass on the coyote at 450 dead. So I had this fox come in to like 90 yards last night you know, right in the field out here. And uh, I thought, well, you know, if I'm dead on at 450, I'm probably gonna be five or six inches high at 100. You know, maybe not maybe not that much. I wasn't sure, I haven't, I should shoot it at 100 just to, to dial in and make sure I know what, you know, how many inches low I need to aim if I got a critter at 100 yards. Well, anyways, I figured, like I said, I figured it's probably shooting five inches high maybe four inches high so i figured i'd aim right at the base of this fox and i shot and the fox spun around and took off like i missed it i'm like you gotta be kidding me how did i miss that fox and uh anyways this morning i figured well i'm gonna go check where that track was well i'll be darned that fox got hit right here's his track there's blood in it So far he's ran about 80 yards already. Blood, blood, blood. And he went down right in this tall stuff, so I never was able to see it last night. Here he is, I got him. Where did I hit that sucker? Yeah. Pretty much where I thought I would have. Beautiful big male red fox. Awesome. Here I thought I missed it for sure last night. I'll tell you, he didn't act hit at all. When I shot, he just took off running. And then you guys can see the video. He doesn't look hit at all. Unreal. Must be that 6.5 just zipped right through him. Awesome. We'll add him to the fur collection today. Boy, if I would have nailed that coyote early this morning on that trap, I would have had a, a banner day. That's going to go ahead and uh, do it on this video. We had a good night last night. We hammered the beaver and we got a nice red fox, which was totally unexpected until I got on that thing's track this morning. I was really down and out about missing it. I couldn't believe I missed it. But I hit it right where I was aiming. It just didn't act hit at all. Uh, one of these mornings you're gonna wake up to a video with a coyote stuck in one of them traps up there. I'm gonna, I'm telling you, that's really getting to me. Especially that they've worked the sets multiple times now and I'm not catching them. So, uh, I might I might put a couple sets at each dirt hole on each side. Uh, I might, I don't know, uh, I might do some pee posts. I'm, I'm going to get creative with them. And uh, if you guys have any uh, good ideas, uh, comment in the comment section below and I'll take them into consideration and see... Uh, what we can do to, to nab one of them coyotes. It's getting really frustrating, but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. It's just kind of, uh, you know, this doing this in the morning before work or whatnot makes me feel like a little kid again. I remember when I was, uh, you know, 12 and 13, and uh, Dave would come and pick me up, and we'd go check beaver sets and with my buddy James, and, you know, this kind of brings me back to those days, and it's just so much fun to get out there and to uh, go to bed at night thinking about you know your dirt hole sets and what's going to be in them in the morning it really makes me feel like a little kid again and that's what it's all about i love i love it we got some work work ahead of us now but it's well worth it awesome awesome morning everybody